So when I have my scrubber on where I want the slow motion start, I'm gonna click here, add or remove keyframe. I'm gonna take the scrubber, move to where I want to stop, like right where it catches. It's gonna be a sexy ass slow mo, and add another one. And as you can see, when I press this button, add or remove uh, keyframe, I get these um, yellow diamonds. Okay. Now I'm gonna go over uh, this real quick. Timer map. Okay, so this is your first keyframe, your second, your third, and your last. Total of four keyframes. Okay. So um, when we mess with the time, what happens in between here? Say if we were to speed it up in between here or slow mo in between these two keyframes, it won't affect outside of here. So let's just say, for example, this is uh, slowed down. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna slow down in between these two keyframes. Outside of the keyframes, like here and here, it's gonna be regular speed, okay? Same thing if we are gonna speed up in between here. Fast, regular, and regular, okay guys? So into actually slow-mowing the clip, what you wanna do is very important, take your uh, second to last keyframe or your third, and you wanna select it, okay? Just the second to last keyframe. You wanna go up to here, graph editor. Now you should have this uh, line and uh, your yellow diamonds like I was talking about before turn into yellow squares. See but it's still your first, here's your second, here's your third, and all the way at the end your fourth, okay? So if, uh, again, uh, here's another problem, if your screen isn't like what uh, my screen is like, all you have to do is go down to here, choose graph type, and make sure edit speed graph is check mark, okay? Alright, so what we're going to do is make sure we select our second to last keyframe. Or if uh, you, you're not sure which is the second to last, just go back to here. See? Second to last keyframe, make sure that's selected. And uh, there's going to be a gray line. Gray line in between our second to last and our last keyframe. You want to take your mouse, click on this gray line in between the second to last and last keyframe hold down shift on the keyboard and pull it to the right okay now I'm gonna um, just stop here for a second and as you can see there is a yellow um, I'm sorry not yellow orange line that means you did it correctly that means um, um everything was uh, straight or not at it's not out of whack. It's just if you see a uh, orange line, that means you did it right, okay? And uh, now the clip slow mode in between here, but here's gonna be regular and here's gonna be regular, okay? So now another common mistake people do is uh, they like drag this up and then it's gonna mess up here. So again, just follow what I'm doing. After you've um, dragged this out and you have this uh, sort of uh, rectangle, rectangle looking. Um, shape you want to click off the screen important so none of these are highlighted yellow okay none of these points are highlighted yellow then you want to click the second to last keyframe all the way at the bottom and if you don't know what I'm talking about just follow what I'm doing on the screen and uh, try to imitate the best you want to hold it down with your mouse or hold it down uh, click the button but hold it then hold shift on your keyboard and drag it up and as you can see we have that orange line again that was right here same thing again click away click on the second keyframe that's at the bottom move this out of the way so you know what I'm talking about click only uh, only have selected or only click on the second keyframe that's at the bottom click it with the mouse pull down shift and drag it up now, as you can see um, I don't have that yellow line so all these curves are gonna go out of whack okay Make sure you hold down shift and it's not working because it's being a piece of sheet. There we go. Okay. Now as you can see, uh, we now made a U. We turned that square or rectangle into a U. And here's a major problem. See the 0, 0.0 number right here? There's a line below it. And um, this uh, U-shaped object is beyond the 0, 0.0 line. See how uh, this line passes it? That's bad. That means uh, you're gonna the clip.
clip's going to be slow mode, it's going to be going forward, then it's going to be going back, and then forward again. You don't want that. You just want it to be going slow and forward. So all you have to do is, remember the gray line I was talking about between the second to last keyframe and last keyframe? Just click it with the mouse, hold shift, and drag it back to the left. And as you can see now, our um, U shape is above the 0, 0.0 line and that's basically it uh, for the twitch part. now it's going to be slow motion slow motion slow motion and uh, if you guys have been in algebra B algebra can't say that algebra <laughs> whatever uh, if you take math class uh, I believe it's like uh, 11th grade or something like that you uh, learn about linear equations and um, here's like the vertex so here's going to be the slowest point now it's going to be super slow, and now it's going to start to speed up, but it's still going to be slow motion, sped up, still slow motion, and then regular motion, okay? And uh, that's basically it for the Twixter part. Now on to the Real Smart Motion Blur Algebra B. Man, I don't know why I couldn't say that. So, uh, Vision Plug, Core Selector Clip, Effect, Vision Plugins, uh, Real Smart Motion Blur Pro. Um, if you can't find it there, go to effects and you don't type in real smart motion blur, you type in RSMB. Take it, drag it onto the clip. Take it, drag it onto the clip. And uh, for this, you really don't need to set them up, uh, up much. Um, it's already set at 0.50. I like 0.4 or 0.40, but it all depends on your preference. And uh, now, when he flicks, things that are in motion are gonna blur. And uh, that's basically the end of the tutorial. I'm gonna make another tutorial on um, the uh, timer map or ramp slow mo effects, like how to make it super slow or how to make it uh, like a super sharp high pitch sound which uh, it goes like that. I'm pretty sure if you watch gay videos you know what I'm talking about or you want super slow sexy uh, twixer and uh, yeah guys that's basically it um, for this tutorial this would be the first one make sure um, oh yeah and you will also get sound with this so if I was to preview this come on come on come on you're gonna get sound in my other tutorial there is no sound and uh, that brings us to the end of this tutorial so uh, if you guys have any uh, problems or questions just uh, write in the comments and I'm pretty good at responding and uh, I greatly appreciate you know a like or s subscribe and let's uh, preview this final product again as you can see right about he's a uh, right when he's about to catch it like almost freezes itself that's pretty sick and uh, there's not a lot of warping and the uh, real smart motion blur um, compensates for the warping as much as it can so yeah again another great tutorial and uh, see you guys next time peace